And then this doesn't need to be big anymore. This can just be like a straight low pylon. Boom! Alright. Becca Boy says that should be a roundabout. Becca Boy, when you return, tell me where I should have a roundabout. The area looks really nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, sorry, I haven't been, I haven't been keeping eyes on chat. I've been trying to get this, like... Trying to build a road. I think I might have... Alright, let's find the halfway point. Is I'm probably going to do a 90 degree turn. There we go. And then... Electrical pylons. I'm gonna go page up. Boom. It keeps saying my citizens are unhappy, but I think it just doesn't know what's happening. Um, let's fix the zoning here a bit. Basically, what we're gonna do is. We're not gonna build in there, so we can do that. That works. And now we make this a highway on and off ramp. Wrong button. Slope too steep. Oh, it's because it's such a... That's annoying. I don't want 90 degrees, I want it to be like that. Space already occupied, my ass is already occupied. Line it up. Look at that, that does not look terrible. Since it's big enough, we could actually probably do that, have an extra lane in there. I guess it's a two and one, so we could do... All right, let's see. Did I then have like an extra exit lane there? Yeah, that makes sense. That looks for good for me. Him by what? I'm so confused. I missed out on like a little bit of chat and I have no idea what's going on. Why is slope too steep? Maybe we just don't let you get out this way. Maybe it's just an on ramp and then you can exit this way. I'd be okay with that actually if that's all that was. Adds a little bit of something extra. No, this will be a three. I think these can stay threes and you'll have plenty of plenty of options to get over. I think that works for me. I wonder if it would be a smoother way to transition this part over, but I guess it's kind of okay the way it is. It's a bit of a steep bridge. Especially on its way to be a highway. And then we will make you yield. Actually, you don't need to yield. And this can just be... I guess can't make it a one way. Doesn't need to be a two way unless I can get a road in here that'll. If I can get this to work, that would be excellent. What I might have to do is do a little uh, creative sorcery like this. I might have to do a spiral. I'm gonna try something stupid stuff real quick. Like, for you to get on, you're gonna have to do, like, a... I 
I had something there for a second. Maybe it'll be... No. No idea. My ass is already occupied. <laughs> yeah, could we, I mean, we could quote that if you want. It's a little bit out of context. It's a little bit of an odd quote. What's the best we could do with the slope? We could do like that, whatever I just had. And have it connect in. Can I? That's ridiculous. Bloop. Space is already occupied. Yeah, this may not work. I may just make this a one, a one way, but I do want this. I do want Slope is too steep. Space already occupied. That's frustrating. I don't like that I, it's already occupied. Oh well, we'll just run, we'll run I just want like a single lane road. I guess I could do. I'm like the same thing. We'll probably just do this. Then it'll be into two, and then we'll have this be a two lane on ramp because that just seems to simplify things. If you want to pull a UE, you can. Or do that. Eh. Why not just have that happen? It looks fine. It'll be okay. A flying roundabout. Could have a flying roundabout up here. Then this works fine. This is all good. This is all charred. Someone had a bit of a forest fire. Don't want to tell you who it was, but it was probably me. You know the beach looks fine, but it's so inconsistent. How the uh, how much water the dam lets through. This is such a sweet interchange. I like the people are using it to get to the dam. All right, more residential. I think Beckingham is the answer for residential stuff. This road is going to become like a main through road. Well, I guess you can put residential stuff in here. I don't really want to have them that close to the highway, though. Here's what I'll do is make the Vecingham residential stuff down here a little more attractive of an offer. See what kind of, see what it looks like if we put roads. Oh, yeah, you can definitely build houses on here. Then we'll go straight road, see if this will let us just go straight down here. And over. All right, that looks pretty neat actually. I wonder if we can get a slopey road in here. Slope is too steep. Space is already occupied. It's too bad. That's right, these people will live on their cute little cul-de-sacs all by themselves and they'll like it let's do that add that in there and that and then just whoop, all this stuff I know cliffside property is good until you know erosion and all that but until it erodes I, I want to build it closer sorry about your homes as soon as I'm ready to commit to it I change it There we go, that's what I want. And then we'll run it straight until it intersects with that, and then we'll do 
we'll try to match this as much as possible. Oh, just like a slight curve. Yeah, then we'll leave that. And we'll zone that. Uh, we won't actually zone that because of the freeway. We might actually not zone that either. But then we'll do... Where are you headed? We'll probably do all of this at least. And then this. And that. I wouldn't hate living on this cliff. I don't think I'd love it either. The Ukrainian kids who don't like will deal with erosion. Oh, it's true. It's sad, but it's true. It's like climate change. We, I mean, we're dealing with it, but we're really not the people who get affected the most by climate change. It's gonna be our children and, and their children. I'm just gonna build this road straight. Another block. And then slopes too steep, and then another block, and then do a do 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 do. So I can get this to like swoop out here maybe, and then the same here. And we'll make sure these guys have water, and then we'll zone it all in with residential. It was immediately built as soon as I zoned it. They even wait for me to finish zoning the block. They're just like, I want to build here. Man, people love this property. They're building as fast as we make it available. Oof. That's some quick building there, buds. There we go. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I just realized all this is like really bad sewage water, so I think I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the sewage pipes. Where should I move them to? Let's take a look at water flow. If I move them over here, that'll be far enough away, but then I have to build pipe and power infrastructure. I guess we could just run these power lines, you know, across. Yeah, so here's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna pause. We're gonna move this to here, right on the point. We're going to move this sewage outflow pipe to here and move his buddy over as well. They are powered. We're gonna build water pipes. Link them and then just run basically straight here. Actually, we'll run, just so we're not running super underground. Not that it actually matters, it just, for me, is a matter of like. It's a matter of aesthetic. And then we'll find our electricity. We'll. Run that, and we'll run these guys sort of around the hill here. And connect up the grids, which is unnecessary, but will look great when it's done. And there we go. All this sewage water will hopefully go away from here since we're starting to expand it. Carlton Ace, what's up, dude? A single windmill would be enough, but it keeps bugging me about connecting the power grids, and I'm more worried about that notification going off than I am about having this power there. I guess I could. I guess I could just ignore the notifications. Let's do it. I spent all that money to refund a lot of it. This whole power thing. Perfect. In fact, I probably don't need, yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. I 
I can zone all of this. Hooray! Buckingham looks nice. I'm gonna stick with the notifications. I don't wanna build I wanna build this highway sort of out and straight. It's gonna come here and then turn and then come back here and then intersect with it'll intersect over here. There'll be a four way. You know what? How much money do we have? Almost enough for a pumping service. I think I wanna get started. Let's purchase that. We'll eventually build our really stupid four-way spaghetti junction. I guess I could do that now. The question is how? Or the better question is why? Three, let's build straight. Just like 180, just 180 across. Maybe build it right there. I don't know why the post didn't show up. Not enough money to finish it. How much money do we need? Another $41,000. Damn. Can I get refunds? Yeah. I want to start. I want to run like a slope down here. Let's get it to just like do that pretty much. And then we'll copy it. What's the spacing? I guess we could just do it too. Is that the one I want? No, I want this section right here where it probably should have a pillar of some kind, but doesn't. I don't think this bridge is necessarily like sound. as high as it can go. I guess that's good enough. I'm gonna save up some money. <laughs> when I suddenly decide to bulldoze the dam, the shit will hit the fan. Yeah. There won't be a fan left. I If I decide to bulldoze the dam, it'll just be because I'm done with the city and we're gonna finish Bob with the flood. But right now, I think we're just gonna try and not do that. Oh no, I lost, there it is. I want speed three so I can make some more money. It's up to 29, $30,000 and I'll try to finish this part of the bridge. Assuming it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna sit here looking at this for a bit, talking about stuff, talking about the city I've got going on. Which I think is looking mighty fine. Uh, we're almost there. Watch me have done it wrong. It's just a little lower. It's... I don't know why it slopes the way it does. It's okay. Let's... I think that would be an interesting... I don't know if that'll be the same. Then we'll line it up and drop it down. And then we will reverse it because currently it's all going the wrong direction. Good thing I'm not accidentally on the bulldoze tool. That is an ugly bridge.
and then it will turn and head towards there. My citizens are not unhappy. You're unhappy. Right, we're about there, I think. It's seven on high speed, so I can get my uh, get my cash on. Oh, I don't like that slope at all. Let's do that. That's the height we want. And then we'll just find the angle we want. No, that's even worse. I don't like that it's like going upwards. You see how the slope's all weird? Maybe that's the height we want. We'll do this. We'll stick with this height. This time, whatever time this is, is the charm. It's not perfect, but it's how it's gonna be from now on. It just looks weird, but it's fine. Sloppy slopes. Right, I need something to ramp off of, obviously. And then we'll run this to here. Assuming we'll get it back to the 180 degree mark. Straight up and down. It should be sticky at 180. Maybe I'll do it in smaller chunks. 45k for that part of the bridge? That's not too bad. When I have 80,000, I'll build it. This is going to be an awfully ugly highway system. When all is said and done. Also, I could probably build more... more houses. This doesn't look IT clustery at all. Maybe it's for high density. I'll put all the high density stuff over here. You know what I've been forgetting? There's an abandoned building. I know there's an abandoned building. Let me just bulldoze it real quick. I haven't been doing services. That's probably why my citizens are unhappy. We're gonna build a hospital over here. Probably right there, or a clinic. We do have crematoriums. We'll get another crematorium sort of in here, I think. Close to the park would be nice. We don't have any medical care. We also don't have any money. Which is fine. These, these tiered hills look really nice. I wish it wasn't raining. I'd get some sweet screenshots. I mean, it's a lot of the same house, but it's not awful. So I want good healthcare, I want good education so I can have offices and high-tech stuff. So right now it's all very basic, boring crap. You know why? This isn't all used to be water. The river used to be very much like straight through here, and this is just cliff faces which have been turned into A river. It's a lot of damning. There is traffic here. I don't. Maybe I should make this road wider. This Umber Street doesn't actually go anywhere. I could put businesses on it. I mean, it's kind of ready to have businesses. It is weird being an empty street. Maybe I won't put businesses there. I think that'll look better when it's done. 
This intersection is a mess. What I want is a lane where everyone who's trying to turn right here can just go straight on their own. Everyone can sort of go around. Hmm. Those are all main roads is the problem. Yeah, it's very... I don't know what to do with that. If the rain flood mod was still on, I think the dam would be... I don't know, it would be interesting. I don't know what would happen. I think it would be very different. I'm gonna block out the oil fields while I'm here. While I'm looking at it. I know I'm saving up money for a bridge, but... I wanna do straight roads like this. Or like mostly straight roads. That's not what I want at all. Or, I mean, I guess that works. Then we're gonna do a little through lane. I like that. I like how this is turning out. Probably run basically straight to here and then or run to here and then in and run this across or run this across. That looks better. You just not want to build there? Is there like a reason you don't like building there? There we go, that seems to have worked. Um, do we have water at the oil fields? No, we do not. We'll pull water from underneath, pipe underneath the dam. That seems safe, and then we'll run. That was a lightning strike nearby, we'll run across like that. Go speed three so we can make a little more money while we spend our money. Electricity, we have electricity, so I guess we can just start zoning industry and hope that it actually builds. Someday we'll have, you know, huge oil fields here, hopefully. That's all this is, is going to be oil. No residences nearby, no. No town. I'm excited to see uh, what this looks like when it's all done in. But I think it'll take a while. This kind of stuff doesn't just happen overnight. It's good stuff. You know, because they're all mostly straight roads, I can just paint them in. Or probably fill them in. But I don't want it to be just like 100% fill, I guess. I want to be 100% Bob. Hey yo! That was bad, I know, but I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid to know who I stream to. I know my audience appreciates it. I'll do that. We'll do start with this and see how like that works out in the long run. All right, you need many more residences. What we could do is start converting to high density in places. Oh, that's right, we're providing services. Man, I forget all this stuff. Um, Beckingham has services. What about fire? Beckingham doesn't have a fire station. Where's the police station? We'll put it next to that. Beckingham Fire Department. Put them there. That way, Beckingham won't catch fire and burn down all the time. 
We could do a hide and city downtown Bob area. I don't know exactly where that would be. I don't have anything set up to support high density. We may not do it. We may actually go low density for most of this build. It keeps the agent number low too, which is perfect. With the oil fields. Maybe Beckingham will expand this way. I don't know. Let's get through the night. In the daytime we can figure stuff out. I'm going to get a little drink of water while I think about it. <laughs> 